Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's vlog. I just set the wood stove up where I don't have to touch it now for hours. And we're gonna head on in to my old food studio. And tonight we are gonna be feeding the pet leech. And I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna have the camera here and I'll talk to you guys for however long it takes to feed them. Usually it takes maybe two hours. Actually, that's a lie. I think the longest it ever took was 80 minutes, but sometimes it's a little difficult to get it to bite you. You want to soften your skin like when you just come out of the shower. So I'm going to have some water with me to help soften it. Where did I put my water jug? I have no idea. I must have put it some random place in the house and I'll have to get another one. But um, the last time I did it, this will be my fourth time feeding the leech since I've owned it. Uh, as a baby, it had to be fed more often, like every six months. But now it has been over 24 months Oop, that's its skin shed if you can see that in the water now it's been two years and it doesn't even look skinny or malnourished it's acting exactly the same it's a very low maintenance animal it loves stagnant water you don't have to change the water often i haven't changed this water in over a month and for that reason i'm gonna make sure i clean it off and the last time i fed it it actually gave me an infection on my leg so this time i made sure to go to my doctor and they prescribed me some pills to take these are, um, what's the word, doxycycline pills. So I will take one immediately after I'm done feeding it, and I'll take one a day for how many days? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. They gave me seven days worth. Take one a day. Those are, how many milligrams did they give me? Don't think it says on the pill, but one a day. And this is Wound Seal. They have one of the strongest blood thinners in the world in their saliva, so when they when they first bite you, they're not getting much. Then it really starts kicking in when that blood thinner rushes around my body. So at its size, I may not stop bleeding for three to five days. So this is my only hope to get it to, to stop. It, otherwise, I'll be bleeding through multiple bandages a day like the first couple times I fed the, fed the leech. But when it was a baby, it was only two inches long. Now it's ten inches long. And I accidentally cracked that, but that stuff worked good. It's like this grit, very gritty super glue. Is it? Oh, it's, it's... I let that cure for a day. It's still wet on the backside. Oh. And that was months ago. I don't even know if that'll dry now. Ew. Ew. But I'll probably need paper towels anyways. So I'm just going to do a stream here where I just let the camera run during the entire thing. So I'll set it up and I'll talk to you throughout the entire process and talk about random things while we're doing it. Give some leech information. And we're good. Let me go get a thing of water. Alright everyone, and the camera is rolling. So... If, if anyone ever realized, if you're watching this on your phone or even computer, if it's your phone, you can touch two spots and pull apart to zoom in if you want to zoom into any part of this process. Or if you're on a computer, I believe there's a way you can... I'm not exactly sure on a desktop how to do it, but I do know like 92% of my viewers do watch it on a phone. The smart TV people, it's not as many, but it is ticking up over the years. It used to be 2%, but it's up to like 6-something now. So... I will explain the process, and because I'm going to be talking for a while straight, I did bring some water. I already have a little bit of cold, so it could be easy for me to get a sore throat from doing this. So I got a couple bandages, can work on that. So I'll just talk while I do this, because I'll probably get a little bored. We'll get the leech out of here. This is also room temperature water. I just want to clean the leech off, just to minimize the infection risk since I haven't cleaned its actual water in over a month. So I tried really hard to find it an alternative food to myself. Tried giving it beef liver. I tried giving it, I bought cow blood online. It won't eat anything but live food because it ate off me once. They live 10 years. So at this rate, if it can go two years without food or over two years without food, I'll probably only have to feed it one, two more times after this. So we're gonna try to get a bite. And I'll tell you about the process. We're going to wash him off in here. He knows it's feeding time. He's, he's going to start getting 
very frisky. You can't really call it a he, it's actually a both. If you have two of these, they will produce out of control. Whoa! Oh my gosh! It just turned the water brown! Moving it around like that must have scared it and it let out a poop. That's my blood from two years ago. That's the only thing it's ate its entire life is my blood. Moving it around, it just pooped all over by shaking it around to clean it off. It just pooped and the water is nasty now. Look at that. What do I do with the water? I gotta go dump it and quickly rinse that out in the sink. Let me pause the camera for a sec. All right, I'm back. Hopefully the camera doesn't shut off over the two hour period. Try it again. Yeah, this water's clean. That guy hasn't pooped in a bit. So a leech is one of those creatures, as it gets older, it requires less and less food. I haven't fed this thing since uh, late 2021. And it's 22, 23. Yeah, a little bit over two years it's been since it last ate. And it's getting frisky in there. So I'm going to put it on my arm. Remember last time I actually had a little mark from the leech for about a year. But... It just looks like a little dot, but it's bigger now. Around the area will actually turn discolored for a while as it sucks from there. So you see, I'm moistening my arm because it makes the skin softer. It doesn't want to bite if its skin's not kind of soft. It has to detect that there's blood there. And that's why I brought this cup over. I'm gonna put the leech inside it, make sure it can't go anywhere until it actually bites. That's not the best thing. Last time I used a shot glass. Do I still have a shot glass anywhere in here? Hmm. Not that I'm seeing. Let me look real fast. I did have shot glasses in here at some point, but I also got rid of a lot of the things that were in here to make space for more canned food products. No, I don't have anything else. So this will have to do. Or I could use a water bottle, I suppose. All right, let's start the process. Get it over with. So the first time I ever did this, people thought it was very cool. My original video when this thing was a baby, everyone thought that was actually super duper cool. And I got a lot of comments, even science teachers were showing it to their kids and asking permission if they could use clips of it. In my second video of it, I couldn't believe it. That was one of my worst videos I've ever made as far as the dislikes. Everyone thought it was super creepy the second time around and the third time around. I'm assuming it's just because the thing got so big. This thing's 10 inches. When it's full of blood, it's literally the girth of a hot dog. And even myself, this is kind of creeping me out because it's big this time. It's really big this time. It is very big, this leech this time. Yep, I almost forgot. I'm going to keep it on my arm just in case it attaches, but let me grab the scale if anyone wants to do their math on how much this thing actually weighs. Let's see. Come on, how do we use this? Ounces, we're on zero. It is 0 0.41 ounces, so we can weigh it again at the end, see if it gained anything. Last time it gained by six times, so it's going to take how much blood? Three ounces? It's, I feel like it's going to take more than that. Got to wet my hand a little more, I think. Been a while. This guy don't know what to do. So it feels like a lot of pins and pricks as it starts to bite. This is not for someone that's squeamish. And I'm a little scared of it too because it's a lot bigger than it was. It's done a lot of growing from that last blood meal.
It doesn't seem to have any interest in eating. You see how hard it is to get it to actually bite on myself? It's not like a wild leech. A wild leech would be eager to bite onto you. They'll swim up to you and get right onto your leg immediately. This thing, it takes a while for it to bite. I'll give up in like 20 minutes if it hasn't bit by then. But I think it will. Come on. Its mouth isn't even on my skin. This thing's slippery on the table like that. Yeah, stay on there. Stay on there with your face. It's like, it doesn't realize it's supposed to be down, not up into the cup. Probably should have shaved a little part of my arm. I feel like the wound will be less noticeable where the hair is. That's why I'm trying to get it to go there. Although it would prefer the underside of my arm. I know it would. Come on, keep your face down. I'm just gonna stop messing with it. Maybe then it'll feel comfortable. I'll feel it once it gets on there. Once it decides, it'll start munching fast. With its teeth, it, it has three jaws and hundreds of teeth. It's gonna slowly start sawing at your skin, making a, it looks like the Mercedes star, what it's gonna leave there. It leaves a wound that looks just like the Mercedes star for quite a while until it heals up. Finally down towards the bottom. Nope, nope, it's back up. My skin's still moist, so just waiting on them. So when these things are done feeding, they are so big and clumsy, they can't even swim. They wouldn't be able to get out of this thing, even without the cover. I'm 
trying to get some of my stuff up here. I'm hoping this guy is going to attach so I can start talking about him. Look at that, it's holding on tight with its mouth right there as I try to pull it away. But it's not biting, it has no interest in biting quite yet. It's gotta be hungry after two years, huh? But it's so not eager to bite. My arm's becoming slimy from it. We'll add some more water. Try it again. Just gotta hold it for a bit. So I just thought this was gonna be a uh, interesting pet. Years ago, I went out looking for them, and there's a company that sells pet leeches. I forget what it's called, leech.com or something. There's cost a fortune to ship because they come from overseas and there's no guarantee that they don't have parasites. So this one I got from a New York medical supplier. Forget what I paid for the leech, but the leech was really cheap. What was more expensive was like $40 shipping flat rate, no matter how many you bought from them. Usually they don't sell to the public, but I couldn't believe they actually sold me one as a pet. So just like a snake, they need to have gravel or something to rub against. You can't just keep them in a glass jar like some people do on YouTube. They have to grind against things because they're constantly shedding their skin. And they won't be able to get the skin off unless they have something rough. They like their pH a little bit on the low side. They like temperatures between 40 and 70. So they love being in a cool place. They love a room that's usually dark. This room is usually completely dark unless I'm filming in here, which is 95% of the time. It's pitch dark in here, and that's what they like. They're nocturnal. They hide most of the time. And this guy looks like he stopped, he's just stopped moving. He's like falling asleep. I wonder if we'll even get a bite out of him. Got to keep on trying. This guy's got so big that you can actually see its mouth. It looks like a little lamprey, the opening of its mouth. It's creating slime. You see the water coming down? It's mixed with slime. Very slimy table now. So because it came from a medical supply, there's no chance of it having parasites, but I did try feeding it blood. But just like a wild leech, the chance of getting a parasite very minimal, unless you try doing something stupid like burning it, putting salt on it, ripping it off, then it can throw up into the wound before it detaches. You want to pry its jaw off very carefully with your fingernail, very carefully because it can also break teeth off under your skin and that can cause an infection. Like I accidentally got bit by my snake again last week. It already healed, it didn't hurt that much, but I believe it actually broke a tooth off under my skin, but I, it fell out. And then I looked it up and I learned snakes are like a shark, they infinitely grow new teeth. So I don't have to feel bad about it accidentally biting me. It accidentally bit me because my hand smelled like a mouse. That's the only reason why. I've been bit twice by my snake. And both times, 
my hand smelled like a mouse because I was preparing its food, then go to pick it up before feeding it, and it, for some reason, bites me. The first time it had an excuse because it had, its eyes were covered in, its eyes were white because it was about to shed, which meant it literally couldn't see anything but shadows. It couldn't tell my hand apart from a mouse. But the second time, it didn't have that excuse. Maybe it was a little dark, but it was either way, it's my fault for trying to touch a snake with a hand that smells like a mouse. This guy's not even interested in me. Look where its mouth is. Its mouth is what's holding it. It's being, it, yeah, it's a little suction cup. Its mouth is holding it to that. All right, we'll try a little bit over into the tender skin. Or maybe it's just not hungry. That is its face, right? Yep. It's just still not detaching from the cup. We'll slide it off. Oh, there we go. That's definitely its mouth. We'll try adding a little more water again to the area. My skin's been constantly watered since I've started the video, so it's got to be, be becoming soft by now. Can you smell that? Usually it's, it should be able to smell the CO2 from the skin. That's how they find you in the water, along with the vibrations you're making in the water. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I feel like it almost wanted to bite there. I shouldn't have moved. Come on, do it over there. I feel like it understands what's happening now. I feel like it finally is understanding. Hmm. I guess it just took a break on my skin. I thought it was going to try to bite, but I did it a couple more times. Took brief pauses like I thought it was going to bite. No, no, come on. Come on, attach. Gotta attach. Or you're gonna have to wait longer to eat.
It looks like this guy's about to fall asleep, becoming very mellow, not moving around a lot. I'm hoping that means that it's going to calm down and maybe start. I'm trying to move the cup around as little as possible. I'm just every now and then teetering it back and forth because it, it um, would be able to crawl out one end at some point, I think. Maybe we'll try adding a little more water. You can see my arm is turning red. I'm literally holding that cup here so hard. We'll keep trying for a little bit. You know, I have an analog clock in every single room of the house, except this one. So I have literally no idea how long I've been sitting here. No clock. I should put one right up there on that wall above me. It's actually very late. It's like two in the morning right now. I'm only doing it that now at this hour because I'm on a different sleep schedule now. Had to edit, edit a lot of videos together. Had a pretty busy past couple days. Made two camping videos back to back days. Today, the reason I'm up so late is because about an hour ago, it's the coldest year, the coldest day so far. I wanted to bring the pressure washer outside and see if I can make steam clouds with it. And turns out pressure washer shoots far, but it doesn't make a lot of steam. You want to use a regular garden hose if you want to make a lot of steam because you want volume, not velocity. Or I should say volume, not pressure. But also, I don't think it's cold enough. It's negative 5 out right now, but I think last year when we did it, it was negative 10, negative 20. Even the garden hose, it didn't make as big a steam clouds I remember. Maybe you can see my knuckles are very tender and that's from being out in the cold so much. Touching water, touching snow, touching wood stoves back and forth between touching snow and heat. It can do that to you. It wants that very tender skin, but I know it'll leave quite a mark there. That's why I'm hesitant about letting it. All right, it's got a little bit of it now. Let's see if it'll attach to that. Boop. I have no idea why I thought that would work as a razor, but it absolutely does not work. Try it again. It's, it's got some better skin now. Let's give it a try. I, you know, as this thing gets bigger, you can actually see its teeth. You can even see its eyeballs, although they cannot see very well. They can just see shadows, basically.
But here we go. No, no. It's sniffing me. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Uh, it started doing that position like it was gonna, but... Uh, no. I think it's going to do it. I am nervous. It's in the more tender skin. I think it's about to start. It's going to be a lot of pins and pricks. It's very cringy when it starts. Doing it. I think I think he might start or to fall asleep. Come on. I I I just want it to get attached so then I can I want to start drinking something. Uh no, it moved its head. So close. You know what? We are going to take a quick break. Going to put a little water there with you. I'll be back in a minute. I actually want to get some kind of snack to eat when he does decide to do this. Wow, I'm surprised. Half an hour, it's still nothing happened. But this time I got my phone to keep myself busy and some food. For hopefully when it does get attached. There we go, gotta water it back up. Try to find a lazy way of doing this. Where I don't have to like be a, on it the whole time. The only reason I'm doing a full length video like this is because it's quite the process. We go through this every time it feeds. It's always hesitant. Very hesitant to feed. Uh.
How did they get the ones in the hospital to attach to exactly where they want so easily? Do they prick the skin? Do they do something like that to encourage it to bite a certain spot? How do you get a medical leech to bite you? All it's doing is telling me the medical benefits of them. And it tells you about the prolonged bleeding process. On. I'm gonna try attaching on there. Perfect spot, bite there. Come on. It's just holding on. It's not actually biting. Yeah. Well, bite. It's got to bite somewhere good that a bandage can go easily for days. They're very strong, these suction cups. Look at that. I feel like I could hurt it if I pull too hard. This whole table, I'm sitting in slime.
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, everyone. Oh, it's biting. It's biting. It's biting. Oh, wow. It's biting. Oh, wow. It's biting. It's biting me. That's kind of creepy. It's close to a vein. That's creepy. Oh. Pins and pricks. It feels like pins and pricks. It just attached. It feels like pins and pricks. Don't want to disturb it yet because I, it might fall off. But yeah, it's it's got three jaws. And it's sawing away the skin. So it will leave something looking like a Mercedes star when it's done. It finally bit. It hasn't ate in over two years. And now it'll probably go another two years without food. So today's video is just the process of it. That's why it's so long and boring. It took 40 minutes to finally get it to attach. I'm not feeling anything now. It actually took a break. You want to see? Oh my goodness. Come around the other side. You move that bottle. You can sit here. Just want to see it? It just attached. And it will be as fat as a hot dog when it's done. Wow. Yep. It feels like a bunch of pins and pricks right now. But I'm not going to be able to stop bleeding for five days. And how long will it be on you for? First time, 70 minutes. Second time, 80-something minutes. Wow. <laughs> I'm shy. Come back in like 30 minutes and see how big it gets. Okay. I'm just hoping it doesn't detach, but I think it's good. It finally gets what it's supposed to do. I think it forgot. I think it forgets that it's supposed to bite after that amount of time. Hmm. It's been two years. Do you think it forgets? Or do you think it's just not used how to How big it? do you think its brain is? Hmm. I can look that up. Maybe the size of a... Half a grain of rice. You think it's that smart? <laughs> would, the, would, its, would its brain get bigger as it gets bigger? No, actually, if I remember correctly, they have 32 brains. Every oh. segment of them has a brain. How many brains does a leech have? Yep, 32 brains. How big is a leech's brain? doesn't say hmm. and, but I just learned it has two hearts 300 teeth five eyes I didn't know that if I look at it I can see its eyes but there's supposedly five of them somehow I'm definitely not seeing that It also says leeches have between four and ten pairs of testicles. It says that nobody's ever died from a leech bite, obviously, but it says that people have accidentally drank them and done stupid things like that. So right now, everyone, what, what you're seeing happening right now is it's attached, but it's not drinking. It's literally giving me injections of blood thinner through my body. Then you're going to see it really start drinking after about 20 minutes. You know what? I'm just going to leave it alone. Its back sucker is attached to that thing, but... If it ever removes the back sucker, I'm going to give it a little platform to sit on. But in the meantime, I better get ready with bandages. Better have this stuff ready to go. See, this has a little pin on the back of it, like super glue, how you pop it open. So...
Yep, it's brand new, thankfully. Keep that ready to go fast. When she comes back in the room in like a half hour, hopefully it's still on me in a half hour. I gotta get something like rubbing alcohol to wipe on that quickly, dry it, and put stuff on. I'm gonna open a bunch of band-aids so I'm ready. Don't know if these pads will be enough. One time I, I, I just stuck duct tape directly over it and that seemed to work pretty well, except the duct tape filled with blood and suddenly leaks all over the place when it gets out. I can, I, I can literally see it. I can see it pulsing as it's trying to slurp my blood, but it's not thin enough to drink. I'm just keeping it hydrated because I can literally see it drying out, the leech itself. If you look closely, they're actually pretty. It's green, red, and blue. It's got some nice colors to it. So this is a European leech. It's a medical leech. Uh, uh, it's sorry. Oh my gosh. That, that's like, yeah, it's not painful. I should say but it's uncomfortable. It feels like shots, like actual doctor's shots, syringes going into me, but it's actually, it's three teeth doing this, sawing, digging deeper, trying to get more blood out of you. I remember when this thing was a baby and not so bulky, I could actually walk around the house and go get things. But this thing is kind of big. I feel like I shouldn't do that. I'm also afraid it might detach because of this weird position. Uh, there we go again. I should have opened bandages before I started, but I wasn't confident I'd get it to get on me. I don't want to do anything with this hand because any muscle movement, I think it's disturbing it. Hopefully if that wound seal works, I don't need any bandages and I just won't take a shower for three days because I don't want to risk that opening back up while the blood thinner is still there. But I want this thing to have a good meal, then I don't have to do this for another two years. Oops, I cannot go get that. Actually get a lot of bandages for a Dollar Tree. My goal is getting it out of this cup.
I, I, I just wanted to pop in for a second because I want to show you something. Look, it's sucking. Bleach? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you bleaching, bleaching yourself? So, I expect it to drink six times its body weight, and it's ten inches long, fully extended, so it's going to look like a hot dog when I'm done. So, why are you doing this experiment? What's the fucking point? Well, I, yeah, there's a little scale so everyone knows how much it drinks, and it only needs blood every two years, and it's going to, it will be fat like a sausage when it's done. It's going to So be, you're gorging it. Yeah, it well, I just wanted to show it to someone, a friend, during a video chat for a second. And they picked it up, so. These are pretty good. This is a protein shake from Walmart. Not extreme protein, like, this is 42 grams. This one's only 10, but these taste pretty good. Coconut caramel, Girl Scout cookie flavor. I drink things like this when I don't want to have a meal, like, early in the morning, if I want to head out of the house immediately and start doing something. I'll drink one of these so I at least have a little bit of energy and nutrition. Oh, oh, here we go again with the teeth. Ooh. They supposedly give you a little bit of natural anesthesia, but at the same time, I don't know. Also, if you have a blood clot in your body, they're supposed to help clear that up, assuming it's going away from your heart. But if it's somewhere going to your heart or to your brain, it can actually break it up and send it somewhere worse. Uh, here we go again. This whole arm is starting to feel numb. I think it's just from being in the same position so long. Is that guy detached on the back end yet? Because I want to try pulling the cup off, but I don't think I can. i got to figure out how to open this without... I can't really use this hand. If I put a lot of muscle, it causes this, like... You see when I move my hand, how much it flexes, like where the leech is? I'm trying to get them to not come off. Because wild leeches, if they get nervous enough, they can come off. I can't get this open, but I gotta try it. There we go. I just opened it a little bit. So these guys are on pretty well. I guess I don't really have to worry about that. I can see it drinking. Give it a little boop. Yep, right on its face. I'm not sure if it likes that or not, but it's got to feel better. Don't remember if I shook it. I should have looked at the time when it started. Actually, I did take a picture of it, I believe. I can just look at the time the picture was taken. Details and 2.06. Hasn't even been 10 minutes since I took that picture. So, I feel like it's been more than 10 minutes, huh? I don't know when I started filming. Well, I'll, I'll obviously be able to look at the camera.
definitely getting bigger. But I don't think the blood thinner is active yet. Not to that extent. I guess it's good that it did it there instead of in the actual hair. It, it, I think that may have been the problem too. It doesn't want to bite through hair. You know what I mean? You, you know how that, you know how annoying that is when you find a piece of hair in your mouth. That's really annoying. Uh, here we go again with the biting. It's biting deeper in there. They get clumsy as they get bigger. Like, if I wasn't giving it a, a spot where it can lay down, its own weight would knock it off it, your own body. So it's going to, like, gorge itself where it has... It's basically overeating. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's 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 doing it again with the teeth. It's sawing more more sawing of the teeth. If I look really, really closely, I can see it drinking. I'll try. I actually make a little short video of them. It's now. It's Saturday, January twentieth. Twenty. It's two eighteen in the morning. Yeah, I'll make a little short video of them. Get the flash on, maybe. Will that make them look prettier? Not really. Hey, everyone. It's 2 a.m. on... Yeah, I'll do a different take. Hey, everyone. It's 2 a.m. on January 20th, 2024, and we are feeding the leech. This is the first blood meal it's had in over two years. I tried to find it an alternate food source, but nothing worked. So here we are again feeding the pet leech. They have one of the most powerful um, blood thinners in the world. So when, when it's done, I'll probably keep on bleeding from that same hole for up to five days. So we have to use blood clotting powder and hope it holds. If not, I'll bleed through many bandages. My doctor even prescribed me for seven days. That's a very powerful antibiotic. Because last time we fed it, I actually got a minor infection. My leg started turning a little yellowish around the area because I fed it on my leg last time but to prevent any incident like that I will be taking the antibiotics and I'll make another short video showing how fat it gets towards the end and we're also weighing it before and after with that little scale I think that a, a little short like that is good it's definitely getting bigger I, I at least think so like, you will literally see it. The whole body is going to be rippling. It's going to be drinking so fast towards the end. My blood is still not thin like that yet. Supposedly, if you have been recently drunk, they'll refuse to bite you. Don't know how true that is. Just trying to give it some boops of water on the head. Perfect, that one.
So even these days, these things are used in hospitals. That's why it's called a medical leech. They're very good for what they use them for. Like if you have an infection, they can put it around it and it can actually suck up all the bad blood along with the infection. Or if you had like a limb or even a finger taken off, when they reattach it at the hospital, it's easy to get blood to flow into the reattached limb, but a little difficult to get it to go back into the body right away. So they'll put a bunch of leeches to suck up the excess blood. They'll put them all over that. And they also promote blood flow to a certain area of the body, like you're seeing here. That's why you'll keep bleeding, and that's why they use them in hospitals. And they use them to make different blood thinners. So there's many different kinds of leeches in the world. But amazingly, actually I'm going to look up how many different types there are. Because I know the vast majority of them will not bite you. How many types of leeches are there in the world? More than 700 discovered so far. How many leeches will suck blood? Only 10% of leech species will suck blood. So about 70 or so species, it says. Wait. No, it says only a couple of the 70 species found in fresh water of North America are blood suckers. Only a couple of them. I know around here we have what's called the... North American bloodsucker. So these things also get pretty big. They're not the same color. They're like this one's under light looks black, but if you look really carefully, it's green. It's got some blue and some red in it. This one looks just brown, but it depends on the lighting. It may also have a good color to it. The North American bloodsucker. We, I see those all the time in beaver ponds. They love nasty, stagnant water. Oh, I'm starting to get a little, like, hickey around it. As it's forcing all the blood to that area, it's like a circle forming around its mouth. It's about an inch diameter so far. What other questions could I look up about leech? Random leech facts. Earlier it said five eyes. Now this source is saying they have ten eyes, but very poor eyesight. It says they can go six months without feeding. Well, that depends too. Like, certain ones that eat plants have to eat more often, obviously. Ones that eat bugs and worms have to eat more often. Human blood is the most nutritious thing you can give them. I believe cow is also decent. Pig is not as good. How long can a leech go without food? How long can a medical leech go without food? That's very interesting. It says that leech, some leeches have been found to go half a decade without food. Because when it's done with its blood meal, it'll start digesting its own tissue to stay alive. So does that mean it like gets smaller again? Hmm. I remember when I got this guy, it was like, it came in a cup, and it was like sealed inside a block of jello, and the instructions were to Chip away the jello and leave it out, and it'll eventually start moving around again.
I'm just looking through some comments on some videos while we're feeding this guy. Don't have much to talk about on the top of my head right now. It's a very cold night. I think I mentioned what I was doing tonight. Trying out a pressure washer, but yeah, I definitely mentioned that. Got a couple camping videos coming up soon. I'm just reading comments on the video of chainsawing the tree that fell down on a house. Hmm. No, it's attached. It won't come out of this cup. At least I don't want to risk it detaching. Maybe, come on off. Maybe when it gets fatter and more clumsy, it'll let that suction cup go. Because it'll be more comfortable for both of us if it does. And see, it's starting to fill out like a pancake, but it'll be perfectly round once it's done. I actually just ordered a lot more of that wound seal because I feel like that's good to keep in the vehicles, keep in the house in case you get severely cut that stops blood fast. I also bought the all natural kind from eBay, but in my experience when it comes to all natural products, they don't seem to work very well, whether it's bug spray, insecticides, that stuff. They never seem to work or do as good as the other stuff. It's like this one works with a chemical reaction and the other one, I'm not even sure where that is. I think it's in this room somewhere. It's a red package. I'm definitely gonna go look for it when I'm done. Cause it's better than nothing if that artificial scab I make with that falls off. I feel like I know where it is or where it should be, where it was. I want to look at my picture and see exactly where this thing is. Or I want to look at the, there we go. I want to look at the picture of this guy when it started feeding. See how much bigger did it get. Doesn't look much bigger at all. Not yet. Looks almost the same to me.
or we didn't like being touched. We'll leave him alone though. Just trying to keep it hydrated. They need to stay wet, but they breathe through their skin, regardless if they're underwater or out of the water. They don't have gills. They just breathe water or air through their skin. I shouldn't drink too much because I can't get up and use the bathroom. This one's on tight. We've been going for a bit now. This guy's been on me at least a half hour. About a half hour, I think. Still doesn't want to let go of the cup. I still see it drinking really slow.
This is a very boring process, actually. At this point, I'm kind of tired, and I gotta use the bathroom pretty bad. Oh, it's biting again. It's been a while. I can still see it slurping. It hasn't really started slurping heavily like it does towards the end yet. But it is getting bigger.
Hey. Hi. I can't get up. I'm wondering, are you able to get me, like, some, um, hydrogen peroxide or rubbing alcohol? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Where do you keep it? Your bathroom? Yeah, the rubbing alcohol is on the lower shelf, like, behind the door. The hydrogen might be higher up. Thank you. Hey, you want to come see this? Come, come, on, come over here. Look at this. Look really close to it. Can you see it drinking? Just look. Look really. Can you see its little teeny movements? Can you see that? See it drinking? Now, right before it's done, its entire body will be flexing once my blood's thin enough to drink it that fast. Now, in my opinion, it's only halfway full because it'll be completely round. See how it's kind of flat? It should be round when it's completely full. Mm. And also, this thing has 10 inches to go, so it's it's not even... I think it's like halfway. And it's been attached to me for 50-something minutes now. It usually takes like 70, 80. I think it'll be off of me in the next hour. Okay. Thank you. Here. You gonna come see it again? <sighs> I'm very congested. Yeah? Yeah. Me too. I still can't get it to come out of this stupid cup. I can't really do anything, but how hard would it be to actually get up with this thing? Oh, not that bad if I hold the box. I want to look for that blood clotting powder, but I'm walking very carefully. If this guy detaches, it could roll and drop. Also, checking on the camera. Wow, we've been going a long time, haven't we? Let me take a look. Where's that blood clotting powder? Definitely not where I left it. No. I have no clue where that would be. Looking high and low. Everywhere I thought it would have been. I probably misplaced it. Who knows where it could have gone. The last time my mom was here with the dog, the dog got hurt. So I was going to put that blood clotting powder on there. But my mom wouldn't let me put it on the dog because she thought it would hurt the dog. So I didn't use it. But I obviously didn't put it back where it goes. I'm only putting it on its head because it doesn't seem to mind. The rest of its body, it, it flinches a lot.
On the bright side, I don't have to use the bathroom anymore. It went away. So this weekend, I think I'm going to try to make some food videos in here. So, I have discontinued limited edition raspberry Kool-Aid. Or raspberry Kool-Aid. And, oh, it's, it's going in with its teeth again. I feel it. So, I actually went to the stores. I was going to try to get a modern version of it. But I don't think they make it anymore, as far as I can tell. So, that'll be a solo one without a modern product. I also got another container of baby formula, this one from 1923. I believe it's older than the baby formula I taste tested last time. And that stuff tasted really good, actually. It was actually very sweet, tasted like maple syrup and honey. I also got, from the 1960s, a gigantic one-gallon can of dehydrated fruits. We've opened dehydrated fruits before from the 1960s. It was an old, one of my first food videos, it was prunes and apple bits, or apple nuggets, I think they called it. Tasted good, and it wasn't even freeze dried, it was dehydrated, it still had some of its moisture, but it tasted good when we boiled it in a can to give it back its hydration and flexibility. What else did we got? I know there's a couple of things, oh yeah, I, I've been slowly accumulating canned food like, nothing special, just ordinary canned foods. Like, I got white potatoes, cranberry sauce, great northern beans, chicken soup, corn, asparagus. And I think that's it uh, of unopened cans that I'm willing to open. I also got un un unopened 90s evaporated milk, but we opened an identical one a while back. Just taking a look around, because I know we got some products of videos I want to make. I also have cranberry juice that's 30 years old. I've been wanting to open that up and give that a little taste test. It's got the, like this nasty sludge at the bottom of it, and it's like very light in color. Like what makes cranberry juice bright red, it kind of dissolved and fell to the bottom. It looks kind of nasty. I feel like it'll taste better than it looks. This guy is biting again. Oh, he's grinding his teeth in there. Hopefully he starts drinking fast because we're getting towards the end. And it's getting really difficult to hold my arm this. Like my arm, you see, I'm like shaking it a little bit. I'm becoming shaky, I guess, because I'm, I don't know if it's because I'm super bored or that arm is starting to cramp, I think. And I can feel that. I'm always open to ideas people might have. Or like different review videos. Like someone recommended I did that popcorn video. That was kind of fun. I bought like a dozen different types of popcorn. We had black popcorn kernels. Red. We had normal. The yellow ones. We had white ones, teeny little ones, some were sweeter tasting than others. And we also had, the, people call it popping rice. Oh yeah, it was sorghum. Sorghum are these teeny little seeds, and it pops just like popcorn. It's like miniature popcorn. That's kind of cool. Someone had that great idea. I made a video of that. <laughs> Recently made a video of uh, eating a century egg. I'll post that eventually. It tasted just like... Uh, I, won't, I won't give a spoiler, but... We'll just put it as... I put the leftover eggs, because it was a six-pack. I put a couple in the yard in front of a trail camera to see if anything would want it. A crow taste-tested it, but obviously didn't like it, because never came back and ate the rest. It's still out there to this day, three days later. Nothing ever ate it.
going on four days. Four days, eggs in the yard, nothing ate them in the middle of winter when food is desperate. And they know it's there. I keep putting all my leftovers right next to the egg, and they disappear within hours. Animals are active. They just will not touch that egg. They will not touch that disgusting preserved egg. It, it's, I think it's because it smells even bad to an animal. There we go. I cracked it. It's very difficult not having the use of that hand to open things. Maybe I can use my feet. Nah, I'm squeezing too hard. It's going to go all over the floor. At least this container's got structure to it. Really good structure. I might spill it. Yeah, I can hear it. I would spill it if I kept going. Maybe if I... Ah. Got it, got it open. Thankfully, they don't, they don't fill it all the way to the brim. There's certain drinks, you open them, and they're like, you know, pressurized. So when you open them, the container shrinks and it spills a little bit. I forget what exact what exact products do that, but I know there's certain drinks. Every time I open them, it does that. Probably shouldn't be starting a pill like this at this hour, because I'm usually not going to be up at this time. I guess it's good enough to put it in my system and I'll start I'll start taking them when for the next week I'll take them at hmm I guess before bed This is just a preventative measure. So I wonder about these leeches. This guy's big, fully extended, maybe here to here. As they grow in girth like this, do they get shorter as their skin stretches out? That's what I'm thinking. Or does it still have that stretchy reach? Does it only appear fat when it's like that? Come on, detach. Come on, come on, come on. It'll be so much more comfortable for this guy if he detaches that. He's biting again. He could come off at any time, honestly. Wait. The whole body's starting to move. Usually that means we're like in the last 20 minutes. That means my blood is so thin that he's starting to pump with his whole body. You can't, at first it was just little movements at the head. You can see it like sipping, you know, swallowing slowly. But now it's the whole body is moving. And I guess he is getting more blood because he's grinding the teeth again to try to get the process going faster. Mm. <clears throat> 
Yep. The whole body's pumping. I actually want to make a little video of that. Now that we begin to get towards the end process of the leech feeding, now that my blood is very thin from the leech giving me a blood thinner, its entire body is starting to move as it's pumping more blood out of me. I keep applying little drops of water to its body to keep it hydrated during this 80 minute process. Who knows how long it'll take this time. The leech is pretty big. You can see its body flexing back and forth. It's actually pretty colorful. You got green, red, a little bit of blue in there. It's got a pretty pattern to it, doesn't it? You can see it pumping now. See it? Look at it. It's not just breathing, it's pumping. It's been on me now for about 55 minutes or more now. No, it's, it has to be 65 minutes. What time is it? Yeah, we're about to hit 70 minutes. Are we going to break a record? Is this going to be its longest feeding yet? Towards the end like this, it could get off at any time. So I have to be extremely not moving. I got to be ready with these things to apply. Are these new containers? It looks like it's broken. Let me try opening it. Yeah. 91% alcohol. I got it from Walmart clearance. You know, Walmart clearance is awesome. A couple days ago, from the clearance aisle, I got like a dozen pair of camo pants. Because they were 75% off for hunting season. That's awesome. Brand new pairs of pants, $6. And they were the good, heavy-duty, jean-like ones. But they're camouflage. I also got tons of hand soap for a dollar a piece. And you look at the, the was price. They were originally $4. Walmart near my house is renovating. And they have so much stuff in the discount aisle. They actually got two discount aisles now. That's pretty cool. In the past couple years... Every Walmart location now has a designated discount aisle. I think that's awesome. Canada doesn't, but the U.S. Walmarts all have a discount aisle. And sometimes if you check it often enough, usually there's not a good deal. But sometimes when they're really trying to get rid of something, it's awesome. Like, I was there this week. They had shampoo. They had nail polish, cosmetics, cologne, soap, dish detergent, all kinds of things marked down at very low prices. Hmm. Maybe it's the alcohol that just got near my eyes. It made it, it, it made it look like there was fog up by the light. I might just be really tired. I found so many cool things over the years at Walmart. Especially when COVID started to end. So Walmart was selling so much hand sanitizer and antibacterial products. Eventually, people didn't want to buy them anymore once it wasn't a big deal anymore. And they had pallets of hand soap they were trying to get rid of. Originally $3. And I've showed them before. I still have like two dozen of them. I bought so many of them. Ten cents for this really nice dispenser and it's good soap it is good actually good soap and then for a dollar i bought these gallons of soap it's made to refill the dispenser in a public bathroom it's not high quality soap it's the kind of soap if you ever been in a restroom you gotta wash your hands multiple times because it feels like it's not removing the grease yeah it might be actually cleaning your hand but it doesn't feel like it removes actual grime i think its purpose is to Disinfect, not actually remove grime. Oh, here we go again. Lots of pricking. Mm. Yeah, one time Walmart had air fresheners galore like the little tree ones you hang in your car 
so many of those were 80% off, no, 75% off. They also had Febreze, a bunch of different air fresheners. I've got lots of random good deals on those shelves. Cleaning supplies is always good. You'll go through it eventually. One time at Home Depot, I also got the hand sanitizer deal. I got big cardboard boxes unopened of the stuff because they never stocked it. They were just trying to get rid of it off the pallets. So I got tons of it. It's the really cheap one. It's watery like this. Hand sanitizer, back when the government was making a few distilleries make hand sanitizer to keep up with demand. So it smells weird like chicken or it makes your hands smell weird, but it does sanitize. And someone had a great idea in my YouTube comments. Maybe it could be used to run an alcohol stove, like for camping. I do feel exhausted. I'm making sure I have these protein shakes with the antibiotic because one time I took, I think, that same antibiotic. You're supposed to take it with food. One time I took it without food and I figured out quickly why you're supposed to have food. It, like, made me feel drunk and tipsy or high of some sort taking that. And as soon as I had food, the weird feeling went away. I'm hoping that's not what I'm feeling now. I think I'm just tired because this does count as food, right? Just throwing it over by the door. This guy's getting big. Wouldn't be surprised if it comes off at any moment. Let me see if I can get some cool pictures of it. What angle do I have to be at for the camera to see the color I'm seeing? On the camera, it just looks black. Yeah, I think it looks better without the camera flash, maybe. Wish I had a penny or something for comparison. Like a whole jar of pennies a couple feet out of reach. getting bigger so I'm giving it a little space Going on 80 minutes. Five more minutes. I think we can count it as 80 minutes. And the only reason I know that is because it is now 3.15 in the morning. 3.20 will be 80 minutes because exactly 2 o'clock in the morning is when she came in here. I don't know that from the picture because that was taken obviously a little bit after. 
and it just started pricking me like five less than a couple minutes before that so about 80 minutes were going on now and I suddenly have to use the bathroom bad again so I hope this thing gets off me soon so I can quickly use this I'm gonna use alcohol first why because it's gonna start bleeding all over the table quickly I need to use the alcohol fast, or maybe I'll use the hydrogen because it won't burn as badly. Then I gotta go take a dump. <clears throat> yep, the whole body is moving now. So that means my blood's very thin. I'm regretting eating six grilled cheeses today when I was at the truck camp. Regretting that. <clears throat> Want to be ready with this. Let's prepare. Folding it into a little pad that I can quickly put this on. I need some to dry it off quickly. Then I can use that wound cleaner. Or I might just hold pressure on it quickly while I go use the bathroom. I'm hoping the urge to use the bathroom goes away again, like it did before. Feel like it's gonna get off soon. So last time I weighed it, it drank six times its body weight. We'll see today what it was. I'll have to go back in the footage and see whatever I said. And I'll weigh it again in a bit. I think I'm going to put the Band-Aid on me quickly and use the bathroom. Then I'll come back and deal with this blood. Something tells me this was the least painful feeding ever. Now we're on like 85 minutes approaching.
wonder if stuff like this actually expires and becomes less useful. It's two years old. I don't think, well, this, this says it expires 24 months after opening. I think it would just become less effective, right? This expired in 2019. It says expires in 2019 or 24 months after opening. How exactly would alcohol be... Hmm. They don't make alcohol from a kind of animal, do they? No, right? Because that... Is, I don't know why it has to say vegan-free on it. Just curious about that. Do they make alcohol with any type of animal? Well, it does say that gelatin egg whites can be found in alcoholic beverages, but I don't think we're talking about the same thing. So. I always thought something like this would be, like, what made of... I don't know. What is rubbing alcohol made out of? How is isopropyl alcohol made? This guy's starting to get some length now. At least I don't have to use the bathroom anymore. I wish I could reach that 1960s tang. I would drink some of that right now.
Well, we've hit an hour and a half. 95 minutes about. Oops. Found this one in the desert of California. Made in USA, nineteen forty eight to nineteen forty six. The other ones don't have dates, no. This one's got a crack. Must have fallen off the pole. Telegraph insulators for the railroad. Longest feeding yet, over 95 minutes now. Wow. Look at this. It's getting big. Yeah, over 95 minutes. And, and you see, I have to keep backing it up because this thing extended is 10 inches. And I don't know if it's going to extend that far. I don't know. This is the longest it's ever fed. Big bully.
Yeah, this thing's pumping really fast. That's what I just made a short video of. It's 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 noticeably pumping a lot. I'm surprised it's still on. Oh, it's biting again. It's been a while. My arm is getting so numb now. How long have we been doing this? 100 minutes. It's biting again. No, it's not biting. My whole arm is numb. It's literally fallen asleep. The whole arm is numb. I should start moving my fingers or something. Get blood pumping there. Yeah, my whole arm feels numb. Yeah, I haven't moved my hand, my arm, I have barely moved this arm in the past hundred minutes, that's why, and this thing is sending blood here like crazy and taking it. It feels real weird. This arm feels weird. What animal showed up to eat? Did any animals show up? Did any animal? Did any animals show up to eat the 1,000 year old egg? Question mark. Trail camera footage. This thing's getting big. 
It's as fa it, it's fatter than I you know about as fat as a hot dog I'd say. Still doesn't want to let go of this cup. It's literally holding onto the cup now. It's getting too big. That thing did get huge since it was a little baby. Any moment that'll be getting off, we're now going on 110 minutes. Wow. Wish I could reach one of my sodas or something in here. Or if I could steal that moxie off the shelf, I kind of want it. Is that a twist off? I don't remember if it's a twist off or not. I think I can maybe go grab a soda. It's on the shelf. I'm gonna go grab something. Do not detach, please. Nah, I should not leave. It's too, I think it's too close to the end where anything could startle it off of me. So I'm not going to leave. Not yet. I just want something other than the water.
This thing's so big, it literally wouldn't fit in the cup anymore, you know? We're approaching 90, 100. Yeah, 110 minutes, just about. Safe to say, 110 minutes. Very carefully, I'm gonna go check something. Just wanna make sure the camera's still going, cause I don't know how much storage I have in here. Good, we got doing good on charging. I'm not going to get a drink or anything. Don't wanna risk picking something up. This guy might be ready to get off. He's acting a little differently. Maybe it's just because I got up. Oh, he's starting to become, he's moving. He, he's, it's going to get off. It's going to get off, I think. I think it's going to get off. Well, it let the cup go. Oh, it's going to get off, I bet. I think it's going to get off. Oh, I feel the jaw, I think, releasing. <clears throat> Got to get ready with pressure. We're ready for this. No, nope. it's just so big. I think it's it just didn't want to hold on anymore. Here we go. This is going to be bloody. It's not going to hurt. It's just freaky. Because it doesn't start bleeding for like a second and you can see the little hole it made. This thing's about to get off, I think. That thing's big. Imagine if it gets off the moment I start filming.
we go. Here we go. Ooh. Nope, not yet. <laughs> this is going to be freaky when he gets off. It's any second. This guy is like straining. He's so fat. Straining the whole line. He's like sliding off the box. Come on. Come back up on the box and I'll move it for you. Come back up there. Yep. There you go. I'm slowly going to move the box so you can get back on more. Come on up. Come on up. I'll just let you hang a little bit onto my arm. There you go. That is freaky. This thing's big this time. Oh no, don't slip the other way. No. Maybe that's for the best. I'll move like that. Now I'm definitely not getting up again. This is all wet. kind of creepy can't believe it's still on me. We're, we're about to approach 120 minutes. Wow, two hours. We're about to approach. Can it stay on a couple more minutes? Two hours. It's never been on this long. Look at how it just keeps crawling back and forth like that. I think it's doing that to evenly distribute the blood inside itself. So I'm going to put this guy right back in its cage when it's done, after I weigh it, and then I'll clean its cage in like a week, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to use the bathroom probably sometime soon, and the water will turn bright red. Yep, it's been on me. Two hours.
Oh, this one's unopened too. Nineteen ninety-seven. Although that feels like it's a big solid blob. Canadian maple syrup. There are definitely two of them. I might have more somewhere. They're full. Yeah, this is really old. From the 60s. Uh, About to go on two hours, ten minutes.
Try this ginger ale at some point. 1976. I bet that still tastes good. That tonic water is three for a dollar. We actually opened the same exact one over there, but that's two for 79 cents. This it might say the same thing in the back of that. That's a sale, three for a dollar. Can't believe this thing's still on me. Two hours, 15 minutes. Now this angle kind of shows its color. What if I put the flash on? Oh, 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 it came off, it came off. It's not bleeding nearly as much as I thought it would. All right, you're gonna go in here, an isolation tank for now. All right, it's gonna bleed. Yeah, it does look just like the Mercedes star. It sure does. It looks like a little vampire mark. Let's see if I can get a quick picture of that. No, that's not fast enough without the flash. No, it's bleeding too fast. Let's get that clotting powder ready so I can treat this. Get it nice and dry. Want to be fast with it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Don't want to use it all up. It's like a, creating a bubble underneath it. I don't think that worked. I think I'm going to keep bleeding out of that. If I run out of clotting powder, this is going to be a bad night. It may have stopped. Let's hope it stopped for now. A lot of the clotting powder fell back out. Let's hope it's sealed. 
get that guy back on the scale quickly. I forget what it was before, but I can look back at the video or whatever. Got to zero it off. Grab the leech. Come on. Come on. You go back in your cage. It's a fat guy now. Look at that. Oop. Slippery. One point zero five ounces. Oh, there goes the blood. I knew that clotting powder wasn't gonna work good. It did work last time, but I don't have a lot left. Ouch. What a mess. Start picking this stuff up. Useless. The clotting powder did nothing. Let's get you back over onto your shelf. That arm feels weak right now from being still so long. I can pick this up another time. This will probably bleed for days now. That's how it is with this stuff. Let's try the clotting powder one more time because we only have enough to try one more time. If I fail, it's going to keep on bleeding like this. Stop it. Nope, it's like a little volcano. Come on, garbage. Piece of shit. Well, just used it all. And it does nothing. I feel heat. It's creating, like, it's trying to cauterize it. Is that a good idea? I need a lighter or something to try to maybe burn it a little bit. Let's go in the other room and try to find a lighter. See if that'll work.
I have no idea how you're supposed to do that. I guess I'll just let it bleed for a couple days and I'll have to get pads to stick over it. Because this is only a temporary solution right there. That's literally going to bleed through in like five minutes. Let's try pads. It's been 10 minutes, amazingly. It stopped bleeding for now. I think it's going to start up again, but we'll try this if it starts up again. Now, while it stopped, I want to get this whole area cleaned up. Put the scale away. Start cleaning up all this debris. Dump this out. Use it as a trash can. Oh, the blood's coming back out again. Yep, it's forming like a bubble. Yep, a bubble of blood in there. Because the blood literally cannot clot for days after you have a leech on you. How am I going to stick this on there? It's sticky on the wrong side for what I'm using it for. How could I make this work? Seems like the blood clotting powder might be slowly working. Wish I had more of it. Duct tape. I need duct tape if I can find it. This will start dripping on the floor if I don't keep something on it. I got normal tape somewhere. 
Actually, I got tons of duct tape upstairs. I'll find that. And I'll try frog tape, maybe. Completely temporary. It'll bleed through anything. Just give it time. I came up with all kinds of creative bandages two times ago. It bled through everything I could think of eventually. But the blood clotting powder worked last time. This time it didn't, and I'm pretty sure I put it on wrong, and it's my fault. Well, I hope today's video was interesting, everyone. Thanks for watching and have a great day. I'll leave in the comments or description how long it takes this time. Last time it only took three days to completely stop bleeding, but most of it was done after the first night. I just slept it off.